Hey guys, Ashley here, and today I am the proud new owner of Ice Blue Nintendo Joy-Con controllers. I bought some used gray ones from GameStop and bought the little shell replacement off of Amazon. And now I have these awesome, very looking, uh, fantastic series Joy-Cons. So, let's check out how I did it. Some things that you'll need for this mod is the replacement shells some gray Joy-Cons and some kind of phone or uh, just an electronics toolkit so that you have the correct bits like this is a tri-wing one that can get the screws out from there this is something I definitely recommend picking up it's about $18 and it's an electric screwdriver so it has just enough power to really get those tri-wing screws out without stripping them. And uh, so I definitely suggest you pick that up. It also came with some of its own bits that work with the other screws that are on the inside of the Joy-Cons. This kit came with Japanese Famicom style buttons and some other screws that I decided not to use. The packaging was very clean and easy to open. I started by unscrewing all the screws, but this part you need to be very careful because it is very easy to strip the screws. I came pretty close a couple of times. First I removed the battery. Then I removed the middle housing that contains the right trigger button. Once that piece was off, I then removed the joystick. Once I detached all the ribbon cables, I was able to start moving over the buttons to the other shell. Once all the buttons were switched, I then put the motherboard back on and began to reattach all the different ribbon cables, including the joystick cable. Once the motherboard was intact, I began to move the second piece over and it was just one screw and I lifted it and dropped it into the back shell casing. For the trigger buttons, you just pop them off and push them back on to the new casing. Once you attach the trigger ribbon back, you can put the battery back in and close up the case. I repeated the same steps with the right Joy-Con. The only difference was this had the NFC reader in it. So you have to be careful because there's an extra ribbon cable that's really small and could potentially tear. For some reason, I had a lot of trouble reattaching the trigger on this one, so it took me an extra 40 minutes. Overall, these took up between two and three hours to switch. Overall, I think this uh, turned out pretty cool. One of my favorite mods that I've ever done for any of my uh, gaming systems. Um, I mean, it just looks so awesome being able to see through that. So, thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe.